Does it bother you that Republican members of the Senate Armed Services Committee, your parallel committee, mm -hmm. all of them signed on to a document which just came out the other day that basically pointed to the higher-ups as responsible for the abuses at Abu Ghraib? Well, I think there's no doubt there was systematic failure in the prison system. Not just a few bad uh, apples. A systematic failure in the prison system that allowed the abuses at Abu Ghraib to occur. And it was has been devastating to this country. There is no doubt about Should it. Should we investigate the civilians at the Defense Department who advocated those that, that, that way of treating prisoners? No, they no civilians at the at the Defense Department advocating doing what they did at Abu Ghraib. Well, that's what this report says. No, it did. says there were systematic problems where they did not properly supervise their people and that these uh, uh, improperly supervised people thought they could do it like the experts could. Now, that's a problem, hey, let me and it was this. devastating. This is what the, the report country. says, signed by McCain and all the other Republicans as well. The abuse of detainees in U.S. custody cannot simply be attributed to the actions of a few bad apples acting on their own. The fact is that senior officials in the U.S. government, civilians, solicited information on how to use aggressive techniques, redefine the law to create the appearances of their legality and then authorize their use against detainees. These efforts damaged our ability to collect accurate information, accurate intelligence that could save lives, strengthen the hands of our enemies, and compromised our moral authority. That's a pretty damning report by both Republicans and Democratic senators. Sure. There, I don't think anybody can contest that the abuses of Abu Ghraib were, were horrible for our larger purposes in the world. That is a different question from saying, okay, now we're going to give Al-Qaeda and the world our playbook and we're going to tell them that we won't belly slap or we won't have sleep deprivation or the other specific uh, But we already know this now. In there. It's in the report what's going on. Everybody in America knows that we waterboarded. Everybody knows we waterboarded. Everybody knows we well, paraded people around naked, that we used dogs to scare people. That's all in this Senate report, and it's already been released, Congressman. The public knows You're, you're confusing two things. Okay, which two? Well, the systematic problems at Abu Ghraib are indefensible. But they come from what, the top. What, what we're no, you According cannot, to this report by the Senate committee, no. they all come from the top. You can say that the Secretary of Defense and the President are responsible for everything that goes on in their administration. But my point is, if you go on a witch hunt and try to blame every person in the chain of command, you are going to lose some protection that we need in the future. And, and that is not fair to any of the professionals who are involved. The way to, 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 to deal with these problems is through elections. We had one. President Obama won. Now, if, if he wants to continue to campaign, obviously he can, but he will make it much harder to protect the country or have any semblance of bipartisanship on the other big issues that are facing us. Let me read you some of the report. This is from the chairman of the committee, Carl, uh, Carl Levin, the other day. Claims such as those made by former Defense Secretary of Defense Paul Wolfowitz, the detainee abuses could be chalked up to an unauthorized act if a few bad apples were simply false. Let me go through this. The dogs, all those awful pictures, we can show them again tonight, of the way dogs were used to just, intimidate prisoners. You understand quote. this is different from the torture and the CIA no, well, let me, let me go. This, is, what, it's, it's this is where the cover-up, I believe, from the beginning came from the top. And now the Senate committee, a bipartisan report, said all this crap came from the top. Listen to this. The Army dog handler at Abu Ghraib told military investigators in February 2004 that someone from military intelligence gave me a list of cells for me to go see and pretty much have any dog bark at them. Having the dogs bark at detainees was psychologically breaking them down for interrogation methods. Now people like Cambone, as civilian leaders of the Defense Department, went from Gitmo, they went over to Iraq and they spread the word, you got to soften up these prisoners. And they've softened up by humiliating them with dogs, by making them oppose, hang around nude for weeks at a time. All this stuff came from the top and it's all in this report. And now you're saying it's just some system problem it, you're not blaming the politicians is all I'm asking. Yeah, it, it, is a, it is a systemic problem. Who do you blame? And uh, I don't know. You know, I think we have a lot of blame gaming. I think there has been an incredible amount of investigation on Abu Ghraib and, and who not was enough. responsible. Maybe people have lost their jobs. People have gone to jail because of it. And I think that's okay. appropriate. I was that's on the show, Congressman, thing. for weeks listening to the stonewalling from this administration, week after week. It's just a few bunch of country people like Lindy England. They're not that educated. They're just regular people. It's all their fault. They're crazy people. Not the big shots have nothing to do with it. And now we find out from the top of the Senate Armed Services Committee, people like John Warner, who loved the military, said this stuff came from the top. Word by word, every detail came from the top. 
It's all there in the report. I don't think anybody says every detail it's, what, of the how dogs, to handle these people. You want the dogs, the nudity? What picture do you want to explain by the, the rule top. book? I, I don't think that uh, you can say that the, the, the Secretary of Defense ordered dogs to be used okay, I repeat on, on again, somebody. the abuse of detainees no, I, I in U.S. Said. custody cannot simply be attributed to a few bad apples. Yeah, and, and I don't think that's not what I said. There were bad apples, and there was a systemic failure to supervise them. Okay. And you had amateurs okay. who were trying to use more serious techniques that professionals could, right. under right. carefully controlled circumstances, use. Right. What we've seen this week are those carefully controlled techniques described in the memos mm. and given to our enemy. At the time it happened, Congressman, everybody in the Republican leadership, the Defense Department on down, played this stonewall of, Oh, yeah. we would never have had prisoners stacked up naked. We would never have dogs humiliating people. We would never do any of that. It turns out it was all in the rule book. Yeah. I'll tell you, Chris, I will not defend. Okay, we got to go. We have to go. Uh, let me just say, I won't defend the lack of information Congress has gotten on some of these issues in the past. Right. What I will say, though, is 30 times congressional leadership, Republicans and Democrats, were briefed on okay. these very techniques. I think so if there's going to be a big Let's investigation, get to that. Let's get to that. it By needs the to way, go to Thank everybody. God for John McCain, who was a POW, who's completely against this torture and completely signed on to this report by the Senate Armed Services Committee. Thank you, Congressman Mac Thornberry of Texas.